Today I am very very excited about what I am about to do, about to head to the City of London Distillery to learn how to make gin. Now gin is definitely my thing and I am ridiculously looking forward to learning A how to make the gin, the gin making process, but B you get to make your own gin with your own botanicals and bring it home. This is going to be stellar. Now, if you're going to learn how to make gin, then kicking things off with a G&T made by the pros feels pretty appropriate. We've got our wheat, we put it into a warm water environment, also known as a bath, um, without the radox, just the warm water environment and wheat. What that does to the starches is it starts to let them relax and they start to release sugars. And then we add yeast. Now, yeast loves the taste of sugar, eats up all the sugar, two byproducts are occurred, or um, occur, uh, which are carbon dioxide, bubbles, that's where your bubbles come in, and alcohol, booze, okay, that's called beer, all right, so if you've got a brewery tour book, cancel it, I just told it to you in 10 seconds, okay. um, now we like beer, beer generally you can ferment with basic fermentation up to about 11, 12%, we need 96.3% alcohol to start off with here, so a little bit higher up the old Richter scale, <coughs> or ABV scale, and so very, very strong indeed. We start off with a clean, clean base, and then we flavour afterwards. Okay, okay, so now it's time to get busy making the gin. This is what we came for. Just making the gin. Now I put different, you've got to choose your botanicals. Obviously it's not a gin unless you have juniper in it, so that had to go in there. But on top of that, I put in lemon peel, grapefruit peel, lemongrass, and also some angelica root to give it some extra oomph to it. Now I am super excited. There's, I've never come across a gin that I don't like, but I have to be honest, I think this one's gonna be the best. So we are on to the actual gin making now, which is very, very exciting. I have had the heads, got rid of the heads, and now we're onto the main body of the gin, which is super exciting. I can't wait to try this. to make my own gin and I've got a whole bottle of gin to bring home. Now this was the coolest thing that you could do on a Sunday as far as I'm concerned. I've been a gin fan ever since I was at university. I was a member of the Oxford Gin Appreciation Society. That says how much I love gin. So to come be able to make my own gin with bat botanicals was just dreamy. My gin, as I said earlier on, I put in some grapefruit peel, some lemon peel, so some nice citrusy notes, some licorice powder, root powder, which apparently stops it from, it doesn't taste like aniseed at all, but gives it some nice earthy, sugary overtones. Wonderful, love that. And obviously you've got your juniper, your coriander seed and your angelica root in there. So that was an absolutely brilliant way to spend an afternoon. The people were really cool because they're the kind of people who like gin, who are generally awesome. We sat down, we had a chat, we made our gin, we drank loads of gin. All in all, perfection. And there we are, a gin distillery adventure, learning how to make gin at the City of London Gin Distillery. Want to discover more unusual London experiences? Subscribe and hit that notifications button for more videos from London by London.